Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I've got a fun video for you talking about sweet, sweet fragrances. If you are a sweet fragrance lover, then this is the video for you. I'm gonna be mentioning six of my sweetest fragrances that I currently own. I actually had a few more, so depending on not, you know, how you guys enjoy this video, I might do a second part, So, because I was going to include a couple more, but um, I really tried to narrow it down because these are really the sweetest. A lot of these do fall in the gourmand category, so gourmand means that they're based on something edible. I am not someone who has tons and tons of sweet fragrances. Like I do have a few, but for me, sweet fragrances can't just be like sugar or just caramel and nothing. They do have to have something else in there to make them interesting um, because otherwise I do find them quite boring and cloying almost if they're just like sweet and nothing else. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. My name is Julia and I make videos about perfume and fragrance. Hit the subscribe button and also activate those notifications. Super important so that you are always notified when I post. Let me know in the comments, by the way, what is your favorite sweet, sweet fragrance because I would love to have your suggestions suggestions and that way other people can see what you're recommending and we can kind of get a discussion going. First one I'm going to talk about is one that I don't hear talked about a lot here on YouTube and it is one that is a little bit more affordable and it is by Lalique. This is a really good one if you like sweet but with a little bit of zest to it as well because this has a fruity slight citrusy accord in there as well, but then there's a lot of sweetness. So so the top notes in here are bitter almond, cardamom, and mandarin. And the heart notes are cafe latte, jasmine, and pear granita. The base notes are musks, pink praline, and sandalwood. Soleil by Lalique is a, it does fall under the gourmet or gourmand category rather, because of the, the praline in here and the cafe latte. I would even say like pear granita is more gourmand because it's a very, very sweet pear note. So it opens with this slight citrusy note, like I said, with that, um, the mandarin. But the mandarin is not super zesty and sour. It's more like a sweet mandarin. It smells really good. The opening does have a little bit of that citrus in it but it soon turns very sweet with the pear granita because pear is, can be very sweet and the praline. So pink praline, I'm not quite sure what is meant. I mean, it is a synthetic accord. It to me almost has a slight confectionery type of vibe, like sugar confectionery. The pear definitely comes through. So it is a little bit fruity, a little bit zesty with the mandarin, but definitely very, very sweet. I think this is a great gourmand to wear in the summertime because it is a little bit more uplifting. Oh, it's beautiful. If you're looking for a summertime gourmand, I would definitely recommend Soleil. Next one I wanted to mention is this one by Ali Saab, Girl of Now. This is the Eau de Parfum, the large size 90 milliliters. I absolutely love this bottle. I think it is beautiful. It has this sort of pale mint green, bluey mint green on the top. The juice of this is a beautiful caramel color. It has almost like an art deco vibe to it. I love this bottle. I think it's gorgeous. Oh yeah, this is definitely the sweetest perfume I have in my collection. And this one was not an immediate love. When I smelled this actually in the store the first time, I kind of recoiled because of how sweet it was. But every time I went to a store, like a perfume store, I would just try it again and I would try it again. And then there was something about it, I just kept wanting to try it again. Even though at first I had that initial like, oh no, this is way too sweet, you know? But somehow I kept going back to it and then I was like, you know what? I just saw it for such a good price online. I was like, I'll just buy it. And now I have to say it is so good. This is really when I want to feel super ultra feminine. It was created by Dominique Ropion and Sophie Lab. So Dominique Ropion is a very, very famous perfumer. So the top notes are mandarin, orange, pear, and pistachio. The middle notes are orange blossom, magnolia, and almond. And the base notes are patchouli, cashmere, and tonka bean, and almond milk. I predominantly get in this one the almond and the pistachio and the orange blossom. The orange blossom is very like the main floral note that I get in here is the orange blossom. The other ones, I don't even really get them so much. Pistachio and almond are kind of fighting for the top spot for me. Not in a negative way, but both of them are very present. I love pistachio. I know exactly what pistachio smells like. Every time I'm on holiday, 
in Italy and I get gelati, I always get pistachio flavor, but it's just my one of my favorite things to eat, like in ice cream. So I definitely am picking up on the pistachio, but then there's also that sweet almond note and the orange blossom. The orange blossom is very strong. Oh, this is so good. I just love this fragrance. It is very, very sweet, like I said. The tonka bean also makes it sweet. So it has a lot of these gourmand elements like pistachio and almonds and tonka. And to me, those are all very dessert-like ingredients that I often use for baking and cooking. This is a beautiful sweet that's not just vanilla. This has something else. This actually doesn't even have the note of vanilla in it, but it's also very sweet. This also has a really good sillage and lasting power. It lasts a good amount of time on me and people will definitely smell this on you. It's very like a comforting smell. Sometimes I will put this on to wear to bed because it's so cozy. All right, the next one I'm gonna mention is Black Opium by Yves Saint Laurent. Now this is not an original scent by any means this is a very popular scent so if you want an originality if you don't want to smell like somebody else then I wouldn't go for this because a lot of women do enjoy this I think this is a beautiful likable very sweet a little bit sexy scent that again a lot of men also enjoy to smell on women it's very feminine I definitely get a coffee note in here pink pepper orange blossom blossom jasmine vanilla patchouli and cedar um, as well as almond and yeah some other notes but I mainly get coffee vanilla I get some pear. I do get a little bit of that orange blossom as well, but it's the, the orange blossom is not as strong as the one in Girl of Now, for example. Um, but this is really a beautiful and vanilla coffee type of scent. It's very edible. It's very yummy. I think this is perfect for date night. It's cozy. It's kind of sexy with, I feel like coffee makes it a little bit richer. The patchouli is not super strong but the vanilla is. So this is a beautiful sort of more interesting vanilla scent if you like that with just that note of coffee in it as well. It's like a vanilla coffee. And of course this wouldn't be complete without a perfect vanilla scent in here. Now this one is a little bit more heavy on the vanilla. This is by Serge Lutens. It's called Une Bois Vanille. This is the 50 milliliter. Uh, I love this bottle. I wish they hadn't discontinued this bottle design. They have it now, the black one. I, I prefer these ones. I felt like they were more elegant, like the label is more elegant. This is a beautiful vanilla. I don't really have a straight up vanilla fragrance in my collection. I think this is the one that comes closest, but this is like a very interesting vanilla because it's not just vanilla. Vanilla with coconut and there's like a beeswax note in there. So it has this sort of slightly waxy feel, but then there's also this woody element to it because there is, um, I think sandalwood in here, sandalwood, black licorice, coconut milk, beeswax, bitter almond, musk, vanilla, benzoin, guayac wood, and tonka bean. So it does have those woodsy elements, which you can definitely smell. There is a little bit of that black licorice in there as well, which I think is not too strong because I don't really love licorice scents too much. Just vanilla is very strong. That's like the main note I smell and the coconut and the beeswax. It has almost like a little bit of a waxy kind of feel to it, but then it has this very rich woodsy base with the sandalwood and the guayac wood. Tonka bean again goes so well with vanilla. I think that just makes it more creamy. I love this. This is a, has a really nice sillage. It just is very, it's a very refined and elegant vanilla that doesn't just smell cheap and synthetic and you know, something like, I don't know, something from Victoria's Secret. You know, no hate against them. If you like that, you know, that's totally fine. But this just feels like a little bit more elegant. I love this in the fall time, but you could wear this on like date night any time of the year. Okay, next one I wanted to mention, I only have a little mini of it. It's so adorable. This is Feb Delicieuse by the House of Christian Dior. I think if I run out of this, I would probably buy a bottle of it. Oh, this is a beautiful tonka bean um, fragrance. So uh, Feb Delicieuse means the delicious bean. And it comes from all these kind of bean-like or pod-like um, notes. So there is tonka bean in it, vanilla bean, cocoa bean. Um, those are all kind of in a pod or bean format. This caramel accord, praline, there's a cherry accord, lavender. There's so many notes in here. What I'm smelling mostly is the tonka bean, the vanilla, the cocoa and the praline. This is just a super sweet, but again, very elegant, almost candy-like type of scent, but it's a like, elegant candy like nothing like cheap candy store type of 
vibe. It's more like a very elegant upscale French patisserie who are making award-winning pastries every day using those ingredients. Tonka bean is definitely the star of the show here. So I love tonka bean. I actually have some in my kitchen. It looks like this very strange bean. You grate it. it has an almost almondy vanilla type of scent and it's a very delicate flavor and it's the star of the show here. It's perfectly blended. I feel like this is such a beautiful tonka bean fragrance where tonka bean is really the star. Stunning. If you like sweet fragrances, this is one to try. This will get you a lot of compliments. People absolutely love this fragrance. You smell edible, honestly. This is great for date night as well. And the last one I wanted to mention in this video is by Thierry Mugler, and it is Angel Muse. And I don't remember whose video I was watching. She said it looks like the Enterprise, like Starship, and now I can't get it out of my head. It looks exactly like a little starship that's like <laughs> it is one of those perfumes that is like lying down it is a beautiful chocolate hazelnut patchouli fragrance you have to like patchouli because it is a dominant note in here so it does have a little bit of the original angel dna and i am not a huge fan of angel i could never actually wear angel i've smelled it i, I like some of the um the flankers, they always bring out angel flankers. I like some of those, the newest, the Eau de Toilette. Angel flanker is beautiful, but the absolute original one, like the angel Eau de Parfum, it's, no, I can't wear it. So this one has a little bit of that, but it's kind of taking it in a totally different direction. This is beautiful. So this is like chocolate, hazelnut, and patchouli. It has a little bit of that praline type of vibe to it as well. It does smell like a really beautiful like caramel-y kind of chocolate or something where they filled like hazelnut and caramel or something in it. Again, patchouli is a note in here. If you absolutely don't like patchouli, you won't like this, but it just makes it a little bit richer, a little bit more bombastic. This is very um, full on, heady, uh, sexy, super long lasting, beautiful fragrance. And this has actually become so successful that they now have flankers of this one. So maybe they should have made this like a standalone release. So if you wanna see more sweet fragrance recommendations, do post that in the comments cause I think I might do a second part if enough of you are interested because I do have a couple more that I wanted to mention. I just don't want this video to get too long. So make sure to subscribe, stay tuned, leave your comments below what your favorite sweet fragrance is. And I hope you enjoyed watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.